Hi, my name is Macy. I just graduated from UCLA in June of 2023, and I decided to do the Culture Project because I'm in love with Jesus and he asked me to. Um, but to go back a little bit, as a child of divorce, I grew up without a real true sense of identity and what it meant to be a beloved daughter. So I placed my identity in all the lies of the culture and inevitably it just led to heartbreak. And it wasn't until college when I had a friend look me in the eyes and say, Macy, you are beautiful because you are a beloved daughter of God. And something really shifted in my heart that day. I started pursuing personal relationship with Jesus in prayer because of it. And he just met me with such loving tenderness and all of my woundedness and he just really redeemed me and set me free so that I could put my entire identity in him. And when it came to the question of what to do after college, I just knew I wanted to do whatever my divi divine bridegroom asked of me. So walking around campus, I was trying to think of what touched my heart the most, what moved my heart the most, and it was our Lord's thirst for the souls around me. Um, the ones who didn't know him, the ones who were living in the lives of the culture that kept them separated from him. And that was my first really call to mission in my heart from the Lord. And then as I started learning about theology of the body, I was just set on fire for it. I was like, Jesus, everyone needs to know this because so much of our, the confusion in our culture today is a confusion about our sexuality and how we're called to give and receive love as men and women. And Theology of the Body just answers these really deep questions in a really fulfilling way that sets the human heart on fire. So I was asking Jesus like, where has this been all my life? Why doesn't everyone know this? Who's gonna tell them? And he was like, Macy, you're gonna tell them. And in the midst of my love for Jesus and my love for St. John Paul II, I was at the Sikh conference and I saw the Culture Project table full of John Paul II's face on, on cards and on stickers, and it just really drew me to the Culture Project. And when I learned about what we're sharing with young people, I was like, this is a perfect fit. And I just had to be a part of it. So I cannot wait to begin and start encountering students and start spreading this truth about who they are and what they're made for.